When it comes to bike computers, there are not a whole lot of choices. You either get a Garmin or a Wahoo and a handful of other brands. Having used the Edge 520 Plus before, I thought the Edge 530 here is a minor upgrade, but nothing about it is minor. The performance difference is night and day. From calculating routes to browsing menus and pressing buttons off the top of your head because you know that it's not lagging behind. But that's not the headlining feature, no. As someone who goes on longer rides, I'm talking 16 to 20 hours long, you don't want to record that on your smartphone or watch, they will most certainly run out of juice or will require you to carry a battery bank. The Edge 520 Plus that I had before only lasted about 10 hours with all the safety features on. The 530, however, with everything on, lasts upwards of 24 hours with screen on, on a single charge, but seriously, who's doing 24 hour rides, you? Well, there is a battery attachment underneath the unit right here, which will provide additional 20 hours for all your two day long rides or where power might not be available. As usual, you can pair up Bluetooth and AND plus sensors as well as the lights and other accessories such as DI2 or radar, which Garmin conveniently sells. I use my speed, cadence and heart rate sensor and this Montrager Flare RT tail light, which the Edge 530 controls based on the time of day and speed of the bike. You can conveniently have them display on a single screen like I have here or you can have it on different pages. It's all customizable under settings and then your profile. Let's talk about the maps. It uses OpenStreetMaps, which are very, very easy to download in the unit's 16 gigabyte of storage, which might seem like small by today's standards, but it's not. You can probably store 10 countries easy offline. Next up is safety features, including live track, which notifies your loved ones, your live location, cadence, heart rate, and all other stats emailed to them, which can be viewed in any browser in metric or imperial. Group track helps you see your group in the map. Very handy if you went too far ahead or were dropped to check where the rest of the group is. Also, they need to be using the Garmin. Then there is routes and navigation, which is exactly what it is. Create a route on Strava, Kamut or Garmin Connect and they will auto sync with the unit without any manual transfer. You do need to log into it once in the Connect IQ app though. Let's talk about the most important thing when you are out there day to day nutrition. You can get smart notifications based on ambient temperature, calories burnt, or how much to hydrate and consume your calories. I feel like it airs on the higher side to be safe, but it has always pinged me at the right time to get that sip of water and especially during winter. Apart from the things that I already mentioned, Obviously, it connects to your phone or your home Wi-Fi to sync with Strava, Kamut or any other fitness tracking apps. Also, you can save POIs so you can navigate to them like in Google Maps, a video of which I've made in the last few weeks. You can check out up here. Hardware-wise, you're getting a 246 by 322 display, which is plenty sharp as you're going to be using buttons for navigation Yes, it does not have a touch screen and that's a good thing. You don't want your sweat or water to phantom press buttons and change all your settings, do you? The buttons are the only thing I miss from the Edge 520 Plus. They were a bit more tactile compared to the mildly annoying buttons on this. I have accidentally double pressed the OK button in the past and it did not end well. I ended up saving a ride halfway through and I had to stitch it up, which is always fun. Speaking of sweat and water and buttons, it is IPX7 certified, so unless you choose to ride underwater, you'll be all right. I've tested it in heavy rain, thunderstorm, and extreme winds. It held up just fine. The charging or micro USB port is covered by this flap, which helps seal against dust and moisture for your off-road adventures. I wish it was USB-C, but hey, there is no such thing as a perfect product, is there? Let me know in the comments. So to conclude, it is a great product in its category. 
considering that where I live, the equivalent product, Wahoo Bolt V2 or Roam, costs the same as buying the Edge 530 sensor bundle where you get the speed, cadence and heart rate bundled with the unit, which would normally cost $99 per sensor. It does everything that higher end edge devices do like Climb Pro which shows elevation in advance so you can ramp up or slow down your pace. It also runs on the same unified firmware shared across the Edge 530, 830 and 1030. So for me it is the clear winner as I don't feel the need of a touchscreen just to swipe through pages. What do you use to track your workouts? Let me know down in the comments below. Also, smash that like button if you found this video helpful. Consider subscribing and dinging that notification bell down there. And thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.